Hello, and welcome to the newest video in our Carbon Market Education series. In our previous video, we referenced that blockchain can help to improve the voluntary carbon market. But how exactly? In this video, we will explore some of the ways these improvements can take place. Blockchain technology can play a significant role in enhancing the voluntary carbon market by addressing operational challenges and enhancing trust among participants. Ultimately, all these factors all help in price and valuation of carbon credits. But it is not as simple as buying carbon credits on the secondary market, tokenizing them, and suddenly they are better because of blockchain. A worthless carbon credit will still be worthless even if it is tokenized. Perhaps more so because it will be easier to see the negative factors that reduce its value. Integrating blockchain technology from the start of a project is where the real opportunity sits. Developing a carbon project is a multi-year effort that involves many different parties, surveys, data analysis, consultations, etc. It is a lot of hard work and requires a lot of coordination. Many of these process stages can benefit from automation, underpinned by smart contracts. Smart contracts can automatically enforce compliance with predefined rules and execute transactions when conditions are met. This reduces manual intervention, minimizes errors, and streamlines the entire process. Operational efficiency in the development stages means that carbon projects have the opportunity to start issuing carbon credits sooner. That is good for the local communities, good for investors, and good for the planet. The immutable ledger is another key opportunity for blockchain to add value to voluntary carbon development. Securely recording all transactions and activities not only demonstrates the progress a project is making in its journey to issuing credits, it can also enable efficiency and assurance in the verification process. Ultimately, the ledger promotes trust. Trust that carbon credit issuance, transfers, and retirements are accurately recorded, transparent, and cannot be tampered with. As a result, the entire carbon credit life cycle becomes auditable, enhancing transparency and reducing the risk of overclaiming. Where voluntary carbon standards support the tokenization of carbon credits, and it is important to be aware that not all standards support this, Blockchain enables the tracking and tracing of credits from their creation to retirement. Each carbon credit can be associated with a unique identifier and linked to relevant data, such as project information, emission reductions, and ownership history. This traceability increases confidence in the integrity and authenticity of carbon credits, reducing the risk of double counting or false claims. Tokenized carbon credits can also facilitate real-time settlement of transactions without the need for intermediaries. By removing intermediaries, such as banks or clearinghouses, the technology reduces costs and speeds up the settlement process. This enables quicker access to liquidity and enhances liquidity management in voluntary carbon markets. The fractionalization of carbon credits is another valuable feature blockchain technology can bring to voluntary carbon. Fractionalization refers to the process of dividing a carbon credit into smaller units, allowing for more precise measurement and trading of specific types of carbon reductions. In the simplest form, this would be taking a carbon credit representing a metric ton of avoided or removed carbon dioxide and breaking it down into smaller units such as kilos, while ensuring that there is no miscounting, double counting, and making sure that the credit representing one ton is retired once the 1,000 kilos are retired. In the context of Red Plus, fractionalization of carbon credits can help to increase the value of specific credits from a project. For example, where a project is reducing and avoiding emissions from a rainforest environment that contains both forests and wetlands, fractionalization allows a carve-out for the more valued wetlands-originated carbon credits, which can sell for multiple times the value of forest-related credits, as the wetlands sequester more carbon over a longer period of time. So, in this video, we have covered some of the ways blockchain supports greater project development operational efficiency, enhanced trust and transparency for information during the development process, 
as well as potentially supporting an improved trading environment, which are all factors that enhance the voluntary carbon market. We'd like to hear from you in the comments section about your ideas for blockchain and VCM. And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted when we drop the next video on the Pearl Eco Carbon Market Education Series. But for now, thank you for watching this latest episode from the Pearl Eco Carbon Markets Education Series. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when our next video is available. Until next time.